Hello everyone, welcome to another quick video tutorial of Math Level Manager. This time I want to show you the new feature of Math Level Manager called Groups that has been introduced in 2.0.0 version. Let's start. Before the introduction of this feature you had no possibility to have more than one level select screen in your configuration. This is what groups are for. Interested? Let me show you how to create your groups. Let's take a look into our configuration. As you see, here we have our groups section. There is one group called default and if you don't want to use more, just leave it as it. Okay, but we want to create groups and our first step is to type the name you want in new group field and click the add button. New group is created and you can check it here. If you want to create, uh, for example, two groups, you have to create one scene for each group, that will be our level select screen. I create the second scene and group. Now your group is empty. Let's create a few levels. Every level you create will be created in a currently active group. If you want to move level from one group to another, just click it and down here in move to group, choose a group you want. Let me add a few more levels. If you want to change the order of your levels, you can easily move them up or down right here. When you finish to set your groups, there is one last thing to make them work. Each level select screen has to have selected group to display its level list. In our case, it's a world 1 and world 2. In hierarchy view, search for grid layout or free layout, depending on which you are using, and in its inspector choose a group here. It will be world 1. Do the same for world 2 scene. many worlds, one configuration, and this is what we call groups in Math Level Manager. Now you can easily create many groups of levels with their own level select screen and for example give a player chance to unlock groups by gaining a specific number of stars. Thank you for watching and have a fun with creating your groups.